we now study template classes. So we know classes have uh, data and uh, functions, so data members and the member functions. And functions have some parameters. And all this data, data members basically, and also the parameters to the functions, and also the, the return type of the functions, they all have types. So the question is, can we leave some of these types unspecified when we define the class? And uh, when we use them, we specify the types. To achieve this, so the mechanism in C++ is template classes. So to define that, we basically write template and the class, uh, uh, this is uh, type, say stack, stack type, and then the definition of the uh, class, class says stack. And when we use it, we use, uh, we say stack and then use bracket, say int. This int will be uh, re used to replace this stack type, say S1. And remember, we have, you most likely have already used some vectors. A vector, you remember, you use bracket, say integer, which means a vector of integers. Same thing here. So basically, this S1 is a stack of integers. Here, can we add some non type parameters to the template? For example, here we have template and uh, in the bracket we say uh, cl uh, class we have something called stack type and also we want to specify the size of the stack and we know it is integer so we don't need to uh, make another uh, new class type so we write this class uh, stack type and uh, comma integers uh, stack size and uh, bracket and class stack and when we use it we say stack and bracket. We first say the stack type. We specify integer, or you specify double or float, whatever you want, and comma. And second, you need to give a value for the integer. Second, you need to be an integer. So here, integer 100 and S1. And also, can we use two template types? Of course, so you can use multiple. So uh, we say template and class type one, class type two, comma, and so on. And uh, in this class, in this class, then you can use this uh, type one and type two. Another question is: Can some types have default types? And uh, the answer is yes. For example, say stack uh, this stack case, and we can also so this uh, stack type is un uh, defined, but we can also assign a default value for it. Suppose the default is integer, then you just write equal to int. And to use this default, you just write stack, and instead of you specify int, and you just leave it empty. When you leave it empty, type empty, then it will take the default value. It will take the default value. All right, this is a template stack. Let's take a look at the code. In this case, so we have a, uh, in this stack, we want in this stack, we want the type to be undefined, and also we want the size to be undefined. So the type you can use say class, uh, class stack type, and this stack size we know it is integer. All right, and um, and then suppose we use an array to do this, which will get this uh, uh, item say stack size, the size of the array, and then. Uh, uh, this is a size and this is a type this is the type and uh, so here uh, this is the constructor and for push for push we push an element into that and the element need to be this stack type okay and we say if this top equal to the stack size which means it is false so we cannot push it in return false and um, and uh, here we say uh, uh, otherwise, if not equal to the stack size, we uh, assign this value to the top and uh, uh, increase uh, top. Increase top. But here, actually, we also need to return uh, false. No, return true. All right. And uh, Here's the stack for pop. We want to pop something out. We uh, pop something out. We return the uh, stack type, the value that we uh, pop out. And uh, in that case, 
in that case, so this uh, will, if top equal to zero, then we cannot pop anything out, and uh, otherwise we uh, minus and uh, return the top of the uh, return the top of the atom. All right, and uh, so here's how we use it, and when we use this stack, we the f use this bracket. We specify the type is a character, and the uh, size is four. Size is four, and this is uh, uh, variable is s one. And we push a into that, and b into that, c into that, and d into that, and uh, then we can uh, pop them out and uh, print out the uh, pop. Okay, here we compile that, and uh, let's take a look. Okay, so you can see that we in we put uh, the the order that we push is A, B, C, D, and when we pop, we pop D, C, B, A, right? All right, so similarly, the advantages of uh, C++ template, uh, the template class is that it allows us to uh, follow the principle of uh, anticipation for changes and also the generality. So when you are given a specific problem, you should try to solve the general version of this specific problem, and then this general version will be able to, you can customize it to solve your current specific problem, but it can also uh, be customized to solve uh, future version of, the sp of your current specific problem. So this will promote software reuse.